Hey, I'm Josh. I'm Sam. And we're some of the founders of CN Seamless. And in this training video series, we're gonna be walking through all the important parts that you need to understand to operate your CN Seamless Mach 1. So we're gonna start out from scratch. We're gonna go through how the user interface works. We're gonna talk about the different modules, the different things that you might have in your case with the Mach 1, and pretty much just get into everything you need to know to get up and cutting with the machine. So first things first, I'm uh, just going to show you kind of the basics of the machine. It's a 20 pound, you know, portable CNC robot. It's got a power cord that connects to 120 volts. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in. You'll see here on the back, the lights will light up, indicating that it's powered on and it's basically booting up. So that'll take just a second. Now we're good to go. That button on the bottom is the electromagnet. So you can turn it on and off to actually lift it off the plate. And this is gonna be your emergency reset button that's gonna let you halt all machine motion, uh, essentially giving you the ability to stop any cutting or you know, movement of the arms. So I'm gonna walk in real quick to how to actually first steps get into your machine. So we're gonna be here in the UI. We're gonna tap open Wi-Fi settings, turn on Wi-Fi, and then connect to the Wi-Fi hosted by your machine, which is gonna be named CN Seamless and the bottom you know, serial number on your machine there. 58 is the one we've got connected here. And then we'll just refresh this page to connect into the software. So uh, when you first start up your machine, it's gonna be in e-stop. I'm gonna click reset and you'll see the arms will move up and down. So just to talk a little bit about how this machine actually works, it's got two arms on it, 68 inch diameter cutting range, and we've got a few different modules. So right now we've got OxyFuel installed on the machine, and we're gonna go ahead and show you how to swap between the OxyFuel and Plasma attachment real quick. So I'm gonna slide off this module. Sam's gonna put on the Plasma torch. And now the Mach 1 is ready to go for Plasma. So whether you're an OxyFuel kit, a combo kit, or a Plasma kit user, these videos will be useful to you. Uh, majority of the software stays the same. And if you're just getting ready to follow along with these videos, we recommend using the marker attachment and that scribe tool, which are gonna be useful for doing layout and selecting different points with your machine. A uh, couple other things that may be in the case are gonna be your cables for plasma, if you got the plasma or combo kit. So this is gonna be the cable that connects to your plasma cutter and the module. And then this is gonna be the cable that connects your plasma cutter or your plasma module to your plasma torch for ohmic probing. So. That is the basics of the Mach 1 machine. And essentially what we're gonna be covering in these videos is everything in the software from the four panels on the bottom, which is essentially your four main steps going from making a design, placing your design in space, telling you what material you're using, and then running the cut, which will be the fourth panel. And then also just pointing out, there's a few different things on the, the side. So on the right side, you've got your all time action. So essentially, Raising the torch up and down two and a half inches is your, your maximum height range. You've got your plasma button that will be tested or used for testing whether or not your plasma system is hooked up correctly. If it's oxyfuel, it'll be the O2 button for testing the oxygen jet. You've got your arm lock and unlock, which will either allow you to move or not move the arms. And then your emergency reset button on the top right, which will let you home your machine and pretty much works dually with the button on the tablet, as well as the button on the back of the machine. So that's the basics. And we're just doing this because it's been a while since we had a software update, uh, videos and training, and we're working on this software all the time. And the way we know how to make it better is by hearing from you. The pictures and videos you send us are really helpful for seeing you know, what your workflow is, how you're using it, which features are helping, which maybe are confusing, and that's how we improve the software. So. Feel free to give us a call, email us, text us anytime, and we are happy to help. And keep a lookout for new attachments. We've got the modularity built into the Mach 1 already, so you can take off the current universal arm. We've got other modules in the works, other attachments, so you can do different things like beveling, MIG welding, and more. Uh, constantly trying to update the software and the hardware for this machine so that you can get the most out of the most capable portable CNC machine on the market. So thanks for watching, and now let's get into the software.